Hello everybody, I'm Steven Snake, you can Lindsay of Gamer Station here, and this is Browser Games of the Week for the week of May 29th. Now if you don't know, what we're going to be doing is telling about some of the better browser games for this week. Now some of these games may have actually came out in previous weeks on different websites, but as we often check new grounds and use their dating system because they actually have a dating system on when the game was put up, we have a tendency of using theirs instead of other sites, say like Armor Games. Doesn't mean we think Newgrounds is better, but we just like the fact they date their games. Also, if you believe that a game came up this week, but isn't on our list, simply leave a comment with a link to the game and share it with everybody else. History is always fun and educational, as long as it's not in the classroom. In 1066, you take on the role of three different sides of a war in Britain, which most of us probably never knew about. And it takes place in the year 1066, or 1066, whichever one you like. The game is a turn-based strategy game in which the point is to either kill all of the opposing side, or to scare them off. Yes, you can literally scare them off. As a note, these battles can take a while, so you better have some free time. The human population has been wiped out by, go ahead and take a guess. The idiotical government who decided to release a virus to control the human population so people wouldn't buy so many darn robots. Did you guess right? Now the robots rule the world and after creating several robot nations like the humans did, they are now fighting against each other like the humans did. It's up to you to build and upgrade factories to take on the opposing robot army as well as need to check the forecast. Seriously. Do you like puzzle games in which you design your own contraptions to solve puzzles? Or do you like Wallace and Grum with minimal showcasing of either? Well, if you do, then this game is perfect for you. Play as Gromit, as he's the one that always does all the work, so I'm guessing it's really only him, who must control a ship to collect all the cogs in their shop. The reason? Because you need to help them put their ship together to go to the moon. For cheese, I assume. The classics have a tendency of having several different remakes and reimaginations of the original. This time, it's Centipede's time to shine. You play as Dr. Hyder, who has gone crazy and attached people's butts to other people's mouths. And most people aren't pleased at you at all. Take up a gun and defend yourself against your creations. Oh, and also the police and the Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters! Space. The final frontier. Also, it's often a place where alien races and humans just can never get along and they need to blow each other up. In Star Relic, you can choose from three races in a turn-based strategy game. All you need to do to win is destroy your opponent's warp gate. It's that simple, right? Well, too bad the rotation of the planet and its gravity doesn't want to make things a straight shot to the warp gate. Going from space to something that makes me think of space is Traverse. The point of the game is a simple get from point A to point B game and one very similar to one that you've probably played before. You move your ship towards an exit and it can only stop by hitting a wall, so it's not as easy as you might think it would be. The game does add some new elements that you may not have seen before, such as exploding walls and diagonal walls lined with rubber. It's worth at least a look. While this game is only a demo, it's still worth a play. After losing communications with an underground lab, you are sent to figure out what happened. If you're good at figuring out cliches, you'll know what happens. That's right, monsters appear and killed all the scientists. Explore the lab to figure out what exactly happened and try to escape. Obviously, as this is a demo, you can't really do all that just yet. If you are a Street Fighter fan, then you probably know about Super Pocket Fighter. It's a chibi-fied version of Street Fighter with some humorous special moves. If you played any Street Fighter game or similar games, then you probably know what to do in this knockoff of Super Pocket Fighter. You'll be surprised to find that most caves aren't enchanted. Trust me. You take on the role of explorer who decides to explore a cave with a hundred levels full of monsters. Find gold, artifacts, and treasure to help you defeat the large amount of creatures that await you. No, it's not a game based on the movie. You are a castaway who lands on an island full of monsters. 
Why must it always be monsters? The game plays out as an action RPG, which is very similar to Azure Dreams on the PS1, if you ever played it. You start the game by obtaining a monster that becomes your pet, monsters that fight beside you. As you go on, you get eggs to hatch new pets. Also, like most RPGs, you soon find out that you're the only one who helped the inhabitants of the island. An interesting puzzle game that takes place in different worlds that interact with each other. You control a machine that is in both worlds at the same time, and thus, if there's an object in one world but not in the other, he will interact with that one, such as platforms or coins. And yes, the point of the game is to collect coins and to get to the exit. If you don't understand, just look at the video. Mouse avoiding games are too often very, very similar. Get to the exit and don't touch the walls or anything else or you'll fail. This one doesn't involve getting to exits. It involves touching cores, which could be used as an exit, I suppose. There's a great variety of different levels to play that'll keep you entertained for a while, as well as some boss battles. World War II is an overly used backdrop for any game. Seriously, I think like five new ones come out each and every day. But I'm not sure if there's been one that is a defense game. You were to build up a defensive line that keeps out anyone and anything that thinks they can cross your border. And if they try to, you kill them on sight. If you play as Germany though, why isn't it the other way around? And with that, this week's browser games of the week come to an end. Now as a reminder, if you like these videos and you want to be up to date on new browser games of the week, simply just subscribe to us. We'll have these videos up each and every weekend. So next week we'll have a new list, new games, and more really bad jokes. I'm all the stars.